All right, here's where the salmon ladder is gonna be built. It's gonna be built right where the trampoline is sitting now. And it's gonna be up high up here, and I'm gonna have a board running from there down to join into this piece here. So that way I can have a horizontal set of monkey bars as well. So now I've gotta move these, move the trampoline, do a little grass cutting, and start digging. Now I'm going through the part of marking off where my posts are gonna go for my salmon ladder. And since I have a pre-existing structure, which is right here above me, I wanna make sure this one is running perfectly in line with it. So what I've done is I've tied the string around this and I've ran the string all the way down to past where my salmon ladder is gonna be. And I make sure the string is just gently touching right here. And so that will help me run a perfectly straight line. So now with that, I've marked off where the tape measure is, where my first post is going to go, and then I'm going to measure four feet and put my second post right there. And then my salmon ladder, like I said, I'm doing dueling salmon ladders. I'm going to have one salmon ladder that's running right here, parallel with what I've already have built, and then another one that's four feet across that's you know parallel to that one. So that way I can trans um, transition from each you know, back and forth. And now. For mine, I'm building basically a four foot cube. They're four foot apart, and they're um, and they're the same ladders be four foot wide. All right, I could really use some post hole diggers about right now. I've got these four holes going, and they're only about 10 inches deep each, and it is it is taxing digging these holes just by shovel. There's roots down in here. I've had to use an axe to bust a bunch of the roots, and I still have about two foot deep to go on each of the four holes. Now this is the fun part of the project. I've got both of these posts stood up and I got them level both you know, left and right. They're leaning forward a little bit, but I just made sure they're level going straight up. And after I had it where I liked it, I came around here and I nailed a board to the back of it to keep it at that position. And I'm gonna nail another one right up here to help it stay completely parallel the whole way. And then I'm going to, in just a second, build some stilts to stand this upright. I'm gonna make sure it's level. I'll make sure it's level again from the front to the back. And I'm gonna concrete the post in place. Saved it. Looks like the weather's trying to run me off, but I'm gonna try to finish squaring them up first. I didn't video all this part because it gets pretty monotonous, but I shimmed the two on um, the two same ladder sides up where they're level. Now I'm about to brace them and get ready for tomorrow to actually stand them up completely and brace them and seam them in place because we're about to have a storm now.
and that's the wrap for today because it's starting to rain and I normally wouldn't care about the rain but there's lightning today okay now at this point the posts have dried perfectly so these blocks I have here for you just to hold it up and keep it framed and square I'm about to take all those down and after I take them down I'm going up to the top and I'm running posts are running I'm running two by six around the whole top of it to keep the top completely square then after that's done then salmon lighted time I want to bring you up here to show you how I did this because being just one person is kind of hard to run a board across two poles so if you look over here you see I started by I nailed a little block to the top of this board right here so that way I could rest on that while I was putting screws right here in this and then obviously no piece of wood is really perfect so the wood is a little bit twisted and bowed and so that's why afterwards it kind of came off where it's free floating now but by the time that happened I had six screws in here so it's good enough to stay there and be able to float until I can get to that side and do the same thing but if you have someone to help you definitely use them it's probably safer and a little easier and less time consuming but this is how I did it and so far it's worked I have not failed yet all right as we know wood is not always straight and so these two posts that were going up were not perfectly the same width that they were at the bottom at the top and so I cut the piece of wood at the top the width I want it to be and I'm pulling them together to make them true and straight and I want to show you real quick how I'm doing that so here is how I pulled it all together I use a regular ratchet strap that are hooked on the top rung there and the top rung on this side and I just kept on ratcheting it until this board lined up where I want it so now I'm about to go get my screws set my camera down my drill and I'm gonna push that up I'm gonna bolt it in place and it's going to be wonderful perfect and amazing just like I want it so far I ran the two supports going along the back side of the salmon ladder and I ran them right but up to the back of it now I'm about to run the one going across the top and I'm actually running across the top of the salmon ladder that way it doesn't interfere with me hitting this last rung because if I run across the side I won't be able to use it last rung it'll just be for looks but if I run it across the top I'll be able to go all the way to the very top without hitting the top support bar I finished my salmon ladder now the last part that I had to do I had all the posts standing up but I had to run the boards across the top of them to true them all up to keep them in proper shape and now as I was showing earlier the first post I ran I ran flush with the back of the salmon ladder see right here I ran that across the back the next set of posts that I ran I ran across the top I didn't want to run it along the back side as well because that would prevent me from using this last rung because if that board came down that far on that side it really doesn't give me enough area to jump up with the um, with the bar so I put the the post going from one salmon ladder to the other salmon ladder on top and so try it out let me know how it works i'm about to go try it myself because now i'm finally finished here's the final view of my completed dual salmon ladder here's the side view there's my heavy same ladder bar there we go 14 foot tall